this is how the message is getting out there. You know, is there something we could be doing to send out the message that that there's a great industry to be a part of here in Connecticut. There's a great long tradition of manufacturing here in Connecticut that manufacturers could be a part of. Is that something that we should be doing or maybe are we doing? Uh, we're supporting the Made in America podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, That's a like, great first start, Jamie. I'll tell you that. <laughs> things like this truly are awesome. And I do mean that because this is how the message is getting out there. You know, we can't take an ad out in the Hartford Current and say manufacturing is great. What we do is we work with Steve Singer, one of the reporters at the Hartford Current. So anytime something's going on, you know, he's covering it. This morning, I had New Haven Biz covering one of the events that I did at the school. And so now when you pick up the Hartford Current or you pick up a business publication, it's talking about the positive sides of manufacturing. For years, the press was talking about the negative because that's all we talked about. Yep, and so working with the media is huge. Doing things like podcasts is huge. Getting out there in front of the parents, getting out there in front of the schools, getting out there in front of the guidance counselors, all of that. It's it's all little things. We can't do one big thing. You know, yep. we, we can't take out billboards across the state and say how wonderful manufacturing is. People need to hear it. They need to experience it. And so it's a multi-pronged approach to help support manufacturing in the state. I 100% agree with that, obviously, because uh, we're doing, you know, because we're doing this here. Um, and I think it is good to kind of do a podcast like this because it does kind of more personalize. It's certainly more so uh, than a billboard. And I think, to your point, gets the message out about how great Connecticut is to manufacture and our great history and what we can do. And no doubt about it, uh, you know, there's challenges, but there's challenges everywhere. Uh, and, you know, I'm a big proponent of saying we need to be talking 80% about the great things that are happening, 20% about how to fix the challenges. And I think if we do that, we'll get a lot more about the 80%. Um, because I think to your point that you just made so clearly, when manufacturers were talking all about what was wrong with manufacturing, all we were doing was pushing people away. Now when we need them, we have to unwind that and, and tell them, hey, we were just, you know, maybe over over emphasizing the wrong piece because we are lean, green, and clean. We are a great job, a great career. And for people that maybe are more mechanically inclined, um, more engineering inclined that don't want to necessarily go to a liberal arts degree, there is another path. And I think you're spot on that guidance counselors need to be aware. Parents need to be aware. Superintendents need to be aware. Uh, we're doing that. And that's, um, that's really, really awesome stuff.